everybody, my name is Alistair and I want to welcome you to our first ever Facebook Live. Uh, obviously today it is during the COVID-19 lockdown here in New Zealand and so with uh, being stuck inside with your kids, I know it can be a bit crazy and kids I know it can be a bit crazy being stuck inside with your parents as well. So we wanted to bring you a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of fun, a little bit of musical uh, games to play. You can play it with your family, you can play it by yourself. You can play it with your siblings uh, as well, uh, and so we know it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. While we're going, what I want to encourage you to do is um, share your name, write your name in the comments and what school you're from, and we'll give you a shout out as we go uh, as well, and so uh, it's going to be a really, really cool time. So we've got a few games we're going to play. The first one is one of my personal favorites. It's called Don't Clap This One Back. Now, if you learn with us here at Epic Music Academy, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to this game. If you don't learn with us, don't worry, I'm going to explain it in just a second. And if you're a parent or a caregiver, then I'll explain it for you as well. Or you can look to your kids, they'll show you exactly how to do it. The premise of this game is to not lose. It's pretty easy, I'll teach you how it goes. First off, you need to clap back every rhythm that I clap. Uh, we're going to start with that. There's one rhythm you don't clap back, which we'll get to in a second. But let's practice that first bit. So if I clap this one... You would clap back, one, two, three. If I clap this, you would clap it back. It's simple. Now, let's do a quick, a quick practice and then we'll jump into the, the real deal. Cool, so hopefully you got those rhythms, pretty straightforward. Now, there is one rhythm you don't clap back. This rhythm is the teacher's favorite. It goes like this. Now, when I clap that rhythm, you need to instead say, and kids, you probably already said it at home, you need to say, don't clap this one back. If you clap, even just one clap, then you're out. I got you, and I will consider myself the victor. Now, kids, you guys, I know you're pretty good at this, so we're going to throw in a couple curveballs, slow it down, speed it up, see how we go. Um, uh, we're going to start off pretty easy. We'll practice that one real quick. Don't clap this one back. We'll do that one more time. Don't clap this one back. Cool. So, let's get into it, and we'll see how we go. We'll play a couple rounds, and then we'll move on to our next part of the video. So, warm your hands up. Here we go. All right, so if you clapped on that one, you would be out. If you didn't, very good, but hopefully you said don't clap this one back. Let's do another round, and then we'll see how we go from there. Very good, did you clap on that one? If you did, you're out, hard luck. But if you didn't, very good, we're gonna go again. We're gonna try a little bit faster, so warm your hands up again. Nice and fast, nice and fast. Here we go. If you went on that one, I got you again. Very good. All right, we'll go again properly this time. Very good. Did you clap? Did you clap on that one? If you clapped on either of the last two, then you're out for that round. Very good. We're going to do one more round, and then we're going to move on to our next game after that. So, last one. Warm your hands up. Nice and, nice and good. We're going to go nice and fast. Here we go. Alright, very good. If you didn't clap on that last one, you won. Very, very good. Give your sibling or your parent or your caregiver a high five and then we're going to jump into our next game. Now, before we jump into our next game, I just wanted to point your attention to the fact that we currently have an epic colouring competition going on. We have a bus, uh, a, a big uh, music academy bus which we teach some of our lessons in 
It's a whole lot of fun in there. It's really cool. Uh, but we've also created a coloring competition. So we've got the picture of the bus um, on our Facebook page. There's a post on there. Uh, or hopefully it's been emailed to you as well. So we're giving away an epic prize pack to the best designed bus um, that's been colored in. So make sure you jump onto our Facebook page, look into your emails and find out, uh, find it, download it. It's really easy, color it in, upload it to Facebook. We're gonna be voting on it towards the end of the month and uh, the, the, uh, the competition entries that we've already had look amazing. We've seen one with different uh, music levels on it. We've seen uh, some with some instruments paint, uh, drawn on it. We've seen one with tiger, a tiger design, which was amazing from Kristen at Cornerstone, which is really cool. Um, and we've seen a whole bunch of other ones as well. So make sure you download it, color it in, send it in. You'll be in the, in the draw to win an amazing epic music prize pack, which will obviously get to you after lockdown as well. Cool. So we might do some shout outs now if we've got any uh, shout outs. I know there is Brenna here from Roslyn School. So awesome shout out to you. Great to have you with us. I think we've also got Jack and Sophia White are watching from Our Lady of Lords. It's great to have you with us. And we've got, who's that, Sean from uh, Palmerston North Adventist School. Awesome. Great to have you with us. Rebecca and Catherine Mason, uh, which is great. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, oh, I know there was a Scarlett in there. Is that Scarlett Brooks, maybe? Hunter from Palmerston North. Um, Caleb from Cornerstone. Uh, my man, Caleb Henderson. Great to have you with us, my friend. Uh, Josh and Scarlett Brooks, I believe. Oh, no, Woods. Sorry, Woods from Cornerstone as well. And Brian Souza, who played, I uh, know he's uh, from Palmerston North Adventist. We've already seen his uh, piano piece, which has come up to us on Facebook. Looking really awesome, buddy. Doing Baby Shark and Jingle Bells. Looking great. Okay, the next game. One of my favorites. This one is called Epic Says. And you may get a little bit confused with the classic Simon Says. And it's exactly the same, except instead of saying Simon Says, because my, my name's not Simon, I'm going to say Epic Says. So if I say Epic says put your hands on your head, you simply need to put your hands on your head. Epic says clap three times, you would clap three times. If I don't say epic says, then you don't do what I say. So if we're clapping, if epic says clap, and then I say, all right, stop. If you stop, you're out, I got you, and then um, I will be the victor. But if you don't, if you don't stop, if you keep going, then you get me and you win this round. So. We'll do, we'll do a warm up and then we'll get straight into it. So, Epic says, clap your hands once. Epic says, clap your hands twice. Epic says, clap your hands three times. Epic says, clap your hands five times. Six times. If you clapped even once, then you'll be out because I didn't say Epic says. Hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to give it a go um, and we should be all good. Okay, game has now started. So, Warm your hands up. Now, if you warmed your hands up, I got you already because I didn't say Epic says. Uh, it's a bit tricky, so Epic says, warm your hands up. Here we go. Epic says, clap once. Epic says, clap twice. Clap three times. If you did, you're out. If not, very good. Epic says, stomp. Epic says, stomp twice. Epic says, continuously stomp. Oh, very good. And clap. Uh, now, if you started clapping, I got you that time because Epic says it didn't stay, uh, start clapping. So, there you go. All right, now you can stop stamping. And if you stop stamping, you're out as well as you should still be stamping because Epic says didn't say stop stamping. So, I know it's tricky. I know it's tricky, but I'm pretty sure you're probably doing all right. Okay, so we're going to go Epic says put your hands on your head like this. Epic says turn around. Epic says turn the other way. And you can stop stamping. Uh, now, if you stop stamping, then you'll be out. Epic says stop stamping now so you can stop, but your hands should still be on your head. All right, Epic says rub your shoulders. Epic says rub your knees. Epic says clap three times. Epic says clap four times. Faster. Uh, now, if you went faster, you would be out as well. You're doing pretty good though, I reckon. I reckon they would probably get in this. Okay, so we're going to go again. Epic says warm your hands up. Epic says, clap slowly. <laughs> Epic says, speed it up a little bit. A little bit more. If you went faster, you would be out. All right, Epic says, clap as fast as you can. 
Stop. Epic stop. Epic stamp. Epic stamp faster. Stamp slowly. Ah, uh, if you went slow, you would be out because our epic didn't say step slowly. All right, we're gonna do one more round. I'm sure you guys are doing really well at this, so we're gonna do uh, one more round. Epic says, um, epic says, slap your face with both hands. Epic says, slap your face with one hand. Other hand, if you did, you'd be out. Epic says, hands on your heads. Epic says, hands on your hips. Hands, hands on shoulders. Oh, I don't think anyone got out that one. Epic says, hands on your stomach. Clap three times. If you clap, you're out. Epic says stomp. Stop stomping. If you stop, you're out. Epic says clap. Epic says clap and stomp. Very good. Epic says hands on your knees. But don't stop stomping. Epic says hands on your shoulders. Hands on your heads. If you did hands on your heads, you'll be out. Epic says stop stomping. Epic says clap three times. And big applause for yourself. Very good, very good. And if you did that applause, you would be out as well. Very tricky. No, all right, that's the end of the game for Epic Says. Well done, everybody. It sounds like you've been doing a great job. It looks like you've been doing a great job as well. Now, I have one other piece of information to tell you what we're doing across this lockdown time is we're doing what's called an online concert. So for this online concert, what we want you to do is uh, take a video of yourself performing any of the uh, or any of the pieces that you've been learning at home or any of the extra content that we've been sending out which we've been doing across uh, across these weeks film it it can be 10 seconds 30 seconds a minute long and we're going to collate all of those videos and we're going to take snippets of everything put it together as one big online concert for what our students have been learning at home across this time so make sure you do that send it in to us by email or you can put it to our, our Facebook page either one of those things is fine we're gonna put it all together and put it on Facebook to show the world how awesome and epic we are uh, okay time for a few more shout outs I know there's been some other students who have been joining us we've got who have we got here we've got Arya Joy Tati and Hezekiah from Central Normal and Monrad great to have you with us guys Hope you're having fun. Uh, Brenna from Roslyn still, which is awesome. We've got Caleb, Eli, and Toby from Cornerstone. Great to have you here. Charlotte Brooks at Cornerstone, my amazing friend who plays the piano so well. Great to have you, Charlotte. Uh, we've got Haley, Logan, Zoe, and Alia, and Amaya over, over in Highbury. Great to have you guys with us. We have uh, Jisoo from Cornerstone, which is great. And, uh, yep, we've got uh, Otago School, so Haley and Logan, which is the Townsend crew and the Henderson crew which is great and Zoe at our Tapu College very cool it's great to have you all with us now the next one we're gonna do is a simple one it's called copycat literally all we do is I do something you copy me now the tricky thing about this is I'm gonna make it harder and harder the more we play so what I want you to do is count how many you get right and then when you start to get them wrong then you can comment below a comment in the in the Facebook feed how many you got right we're gonna see who got them all right or see if anyone gets them all right they're gonna get tricky and tricky but we're gonna start nice and easy so as uh, compared to don't clap this one back you want to do everything I do there's nothing that you don't want to do you do everything that I do so if I clap you want to clap this one for this game, okay? So don't get confused. I'm sure you'll be right. Let's start. We're going to do some stamping. We're going to hit our body parts as well. Uh, we'll do some clapping. Do hit some stuff on our face, head, all that sort of stuff. Just do the best you can. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Good. We're starting easy. One, two, three, and four. One, two. On your knees. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, have you got that last one? Very, very good. Uh, I know they got a little bit trickier towards the end, but I'm sure you guys did pretty well. Comment below how many you got in the first round. If you got six, seven, eight of them, then awesome. If you got them all, write down that you got them all. We're going to see who did the best. That's very, very cool. Okay, 
We're gonna do it again. We're gonna play this game three times. So that was the first time. We're gonna play it two more times. We're gonna make it trickier and trickier towards the end. We'll always start it easy, but we'll always make it a little bit harder towards the end. So here we go. You can start by warming your hands up. Make sure you're ready to go. It is a little bit of a cold day. So make sure you're all good. Here we go. We're gonna start with my feet this time. Just four hits. There's two different stomps. One, two, three, four. Don't do that too hard. <laughs> do that one again. All right, very good. If you did well on that one, comment how many you got. If you got them all, make sure you write all. We're going to do one more round of this one before we jump into our last game, which is one of my favorites. And uh, it's a new one for most of us here at Epic Music Academy. We'll jump into that in one second. Let's get into the last game of Copycat. Here we go. All right, very good. Again, if you got them all, let us know. If you got all of them right for all three games, let me know because I want to give you an epic, a particularly epic shout out because that would have been very, very impressive. Okay, we have uh, one more game for you. This one's called Shebang Shebang Kapow. It is a new game, so make sure that you uh, stay focused. What we're going to do is we're going to write in the chat the five different moves that you can do so that you can look at the chat while we play it and make sure you know the different moves. Now, if you've been following us on YouTube, you would have seen uh, Jeff explain this game, and it was in preparation for this. So the first move that we had, we can do is called the egg. You need to make an egg like this uh, to the side of your body, or you can do it like this. Either way, hands don't matter. So you do an egg. The second one you could do is the book. You simply just open your hands like this, like you're reading a book. Now, the third one you can do is called the push. You put your hands like this, and you push down. So you go like that, push down. The fourth one is called the punch. And so you want to punch like that. You can use either hand doing a punch like that. Now the last one, number five, is my favorite. It's called the crane. So you need to put two hands up and get one leg up. You might not be able to see my leg, but you need to get it up. You do the crane like that, like you're going to kick someone. Please don't kick anybody though. Uh, so you're going to get the hand up, kick, and then that's the fifth one. So going over those again, we have our egg. We have our book, we have our push, and we have punch, and finally we have our crane. So, the way this game works is we're going to start like this together. We're going to go shebang, shebang, so we do that together. Shebang, shebang, and then on the, on the third one, kapow, I'm going to do one of those moves. I'm going to do the egg, or the book, or I'm going to do, uh, sorry, the push, or the punch, or the crane. Now you need to do one as well, but if you do the same one as me, you're out. So you need to do a different one to the one you think I'm going to do. For example, if I went shebang, shebang, kapow, and you did a punch, you would be out. But if you did the egg, you'd be safe. If you did a book, you'd be safe. Crane, or obviously you do the push as well. So you just need to do something different to the one I do. We're going to give it a go. We'll do two practice rounds, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, do it for real and see who can last the longest. Here we go. So, warm your hands up. We'll start with shebang, shebang, and then we'll get into our kapow. So, hands down. We go shebang, 
shebang, kapow. So if you did a punch, you would be out. Let's go again. Shebang, shebang, kapow. If you did a book, you would be out. Shebang, shebang, kapow. Oh, I've got to get a good crane in there one more time. Shebang, shebang, kapow. So if you did a push that one, you would be out. Hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. We'll do 10, 15 of them. And then if you get if you're still alive at the end, make sure you comment so we want to know who has lasted the longest. Alright, here we go. So, warm your hands up. Get your hands ready. Here we go. Shebang, shebang, kapow. 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 All right. If you lasted the whole game, make sure you comment because we want to know that you uh, that you joined in. Great to see Nadia Slack with us as well. Hi, Nadia. Great to have you here. Uh, now, if you did, if you got out, that's totally fine. We're going to play again. We are going to start to speed things up a little bit as well. So, warm your hands up. Let's get into it. Remember, we do the shebang and the shebang together. If you're just joining us for the first time, after the shebang and the shebang, when we go kapow, you need to do an egg, a book, a push a punch, or a crane. If you do the same one that I do, you're out. If you do a different one, you're still in and you keep playing. Here we go. Warm your hands up. Sh starting with shebang, shebang. Shebang, shebang, kapow. 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 A little bit faster. Shebang, shebang, kapow. 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 All right, if you lasted that whole one, well done. Very good for you. Make sure you comment. Want to know who gets through? We're going to do it one more time. Getting your hands ready? Let's go. Shebang, shebang, kapow. 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 All right, well done, everybody. If you survived that one again, let us know. If you survived all three rounds, please let us know. We want to know who the best shebang, shebang, kapow is in our music, uh, Epic Music Academy family. If you're joining us from outside Epic Music, that's awesome too. We want to know how you did as well. Uh, we are pretty much done for today. We're going to be back next week as well. We're going to finish with one more game of Don't Clap This One Back. For all of our Epic Music Academy students out there, please keep practicing. We are sending out content every week with extra stuff you can do that's not in your books. We've also got videos of how you can practice at home without an instrument. A little bit tricky for the guitar and ukulele, we know, but there's uh, options for keyboard and for drums. And then, of course, there's a whole lot of content out there if you don't have an instrument at home as well. We've got percussion things that you can do, something with cups that Lily sent out as well. We've got some other songs sending out and a few games from Jeff also uh, so it's been heaps of fun i hope you've enjoyed it we've got one more game of don't clap this one back if you've just joined us a reminder that you clap every rhythm that i do except for one rhythm which is this one if you clap that one you're out instead you have to say don't clap this one back if you do that you're good you win you beat me if you clap even once when i clap that rhythm you're out last game don't get this one back and then we'll see you in a week's time here we go warm your hands up Good one to finish on. Hopefully you did. Don't clap this one back. And you didn't clap. If you clapped, you're out. Let's go again. Very good. If you clapped that one, you are out. Otherwise, you win. Very good. That is our first epic live uh, uh, video that we've been that we've now done. I hope you've had fun. I've had fun. 
just a word from me as the uh, as the boss man, big boss man, but also from all of our tutors. We miss all of you guys. We miss being in lessons with you. We know your uh, being stuck at home can be a bit bit tough. And we're definitely looking forward to getting into lessons. But make sure you keep yourself occupied, keep practicing, keep having fun on your musical instruments. Uh, and then if there's anything we can help with, please get in touch as well. Otherwise, we will see you next week around about the same time. Probably still a Tuesday, almost definitely a Tuesday. Uh, here for our next game, uh, next epic uh, Facebook Live games that's going to be coming to you online. Much love everybody. We'll see you later.